Ukraine can destroy the Russian troops stationed in Transnistrian region of Moldova at any time. Natalia Humeniuk, head of Ukraine's Joint Press Center of the Operational Command South, stated that the Russian contingent in the unrecognized territory of Transnistria does not pose a threat as Ukraine has complete information about its concentration and composition. The statement comes after a 28th of February Congress where Transnistrian MPs appealed to Russia's Federation Council and State Duma for protection against growing Moldovan pressure. There was speculation that Putin might announce actions regarding Transnistria, potentially bolstering Russia's military presence or even annexing the region during his address to Russia's parliament on the 29th of February. However, Putin did not mention Transnistria in this speech. Natalia Humeniuk stated that the situation remains under the control of the defense forces, emphasizing that the border with unrecognized Transnistria is securely protected and fortified. She explained that defense measures were established at the start of the full-scale invasion and have been maintained by the State Border Guard Service and other defense forces units. Humeniuk highlighted the area's danger due to the Russian contingent's presence, leading to tightened control from the beginning. She assured that the situation is under absolute control, dismissing current concerns as information injections. Humeniuk added, We have clearly studied the contingent in Transnistria. We know its concentration, internal and quantitative composition, and we absolutely understand how to adequately counteract it. The spokesperson reassured the civilian population that the contingent does not pose a critical threat, suggesting that any concerns could only be related to information injections or provocations such as shooting near the border. Russia developed a new weapon to shoot down US and European missiles. The Russian military conducted tests of the S-500 Prometheus air defense system, which they claim is capable of shooting down hypersonic targets, reports Defense Express. Supposedly, during these tests, the S-500 system demonstrated the ability to shoot down hypersonic aerial targets. As an example, they cite prospective Western hypersonic missiles, combat units of intercontinental ballistic missiles or guided warheads, as well as short-range ballistic missiles. Russia claims that such capabilities of the S-500 were supposedly confirmed during the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Tula nuclear-powered submarine of the Russian Northern Fleet, which was launched in the Laptev Sea. Russian authorities attribute the successful destruction of targets to powerful radars, electronic computing systems, and highly maneuverable anti-aircraft missiles. Among publicly available information, it is noted that the Russian anti-aircraft missile system is a new generation of anti-aircraft missile systems, which are expected to apply the principle of separate resolution of tasks for the destruction of ballistic and aerodynamic targets. As early as 2021, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov claimed that the S-500 system was allegedly in serial production. There are also plans to develop a naval version of the promising S-500 anti-aircraft missile system, including for installation on the Storm aircraft carrier project. Previously, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Major General Vadim Skibitsky, stated that during the war, Russia transferred air defense systems from the Far East and the Northern region to Moscow and the occupied Crimea. However, the power of defense does not always correspond to the aggressor's statements. The representative of the military intelligence reported that the most powerful complex they have in service is the S-400, but even it is not entirely perfect. There are cases when their equipment fails. The well-known Pantsia also misses our aircraft which ultimately reach their targets, he added. Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions. French Prime Minister, Russia has become a menace to France in view of its actions since the onset of the Ukraine conflict. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal told the Senate defending President Emmanuel Macron's earlier suggestion of potentially sending Western troops to Ukraine. Macron's words came after a meeting of Ukraine's sponsors in Paris on Monday. No consensus was reached on the prospect of sending ground troops to aid Kiev, 
he told the press. However, the French president promised to stop at nothing to make sure Russia does not win in Ukraine. Responding to questions in the French Senate about the remarks, Attal insisted that Russia has hardened its stance towards France over the course of the conflict. He accused Moscow of spreading false information while engaging in attempts of destabilization and cyber attacks. The reality is that Russia is a direct and immediate threat to France on all levels. He insisted that the French leader's statements were responsible and echoed Macron's view on the need to ramp up military aid to Ukraine, explaining that he may have been speaking of troops being sent to provide technical support to Kiev's army rather than to fight. Atal suggested that such a deployment may include training Ukrainian troops in ground-to-air defense or protecting certain borders. European officials balked, however, quickly denying that they had any intention to put boots on the ground in Ukraine. From skeptics, Hungary and Slovakia, to staunch pro-Ukraine nations such as Poland and Germany, governments insisted that no such plans were in motion. The same message came from NATO Secretary-General Jens Stoltenberg and Washington. <music>